Hi guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers here. Today I'm gonna to take you for a walk around a trailer that's a trailer we've had before, but a new style hoist. This has the upgraded telescopic hoist to it, but this is the DL series dump by Lamar, shown with a gooseneck upgrade, the high side upgrade, a triple axle upgrade, and then also the telescopic hoist. Most features other than that on this trailer should all be standard, but we'll take a look at them as we give it a walk around. Shown here is a triple axle. It's a 21,000 GVW, triple 7,000 pound axles. And then uh, this unit's gonna weigh in about 6,000 pounds. So 21 less the six empty. It's gonna give you about 15 payload. Then you're also gonna pick up somewhere in the neighborhood of probably 20% or so uh, tongue weight to the goose. That's gonna net you another four. So legally, uh, probably get upward to 19,000 pounds in this particular unit. Uh, one upgrade I did fail to mention on this one, not one that we do on every one of them. Uh, this also has the 14 ply tires. So as we get around to that, uh, just know tires on this are beefed up a little bit. Uh, won't notice a whole lot of a difference from a distance, uh, but up close they got a little more tread and a little heavier sidewall. So let's start out front. This has a two and five sixteenth inch uh, gooseneck coupler. You've got the blue harness, which is the cold weather wire harness. If you've never had a gooseneck, that is your latch position, and then uh, that would be your open position. Two set bolts on the neck. Make sure you uh, torque those down 35, 40 foot pound of torque. You just want to tighten those so it doesn't uh, egg shape your, your pin. Uh, you've got safety chain holders in the neck, and then you've got a spare tire mount also in the neck. I beam on the main frame, on the vertical, and then on the horizontal of the goose. And then you've got neck gussets going from the vertical to horizontal and from the vertical to the frame. You don't always see the gussets, I point those out. Speaking of on the gusset, made in the USA, and it carries a three year structural warranty from Lamar. It does have dual 12K jacks, they are bolt on if you ever need to replace it. They make it fairly simple to do so. Trailer is powder coated charcoal gray with black wheels. I think that gives it a nice sharp look makes it look a little bit different than some of the others in the industry it does have of course your safety tape full width toolbox this is a nice wide box because it's a single wheel trailer sometimes on your dual wheels you get a narrower box but this has a big box it's got a 110 volt charger facing the outside so you can just plug house current uh, via extension cord into that that'll keep your battery maintained Uh, you got some zerts on the back side of the box lid for some added serviceability. A little easier with two hands. Uh, KTI troubleshooting guide. You ever have problems with the pump, you can certainly call us, or you've got a guide on the back side of the lid. About half the toolbox is open, and then the other half roughly is going to be your battery and your pump and your charger. Uh, one nice thing Lamar does, uh, they put the battery in a separate uh, battery box so you don't go worry if you put straps or whatnot in there uh, arcing on the battery there's a kti pump does have a quick disconnect uh, on it uh toolbox is lockable now let me actually put this lid down this lid does have gas shocks on both sides i should add by the way okay so this has the telescopic hoist upgrade I uh, want to point out, this is a Stillwell hoist. You'll see a couple different ones in the industry. Uh, Stillwell is uh, actually, I don't know if there's a sticker on here, but it is a made uh, in the USA setup. That is an oversized four inch by 144 inch cylinder. That's a 12 ton setup, very heavy duty. Um, not the cheapest cylinder in the market, uh, but it is a good one. Uh, you also see some others. Eagle in the industry is a, a common one. Uh, that is a Chinese hoist. We've used, uh, used that on quite a few trailers, had good luck. Uh, but this one here is a USA by Stillwell. Uh, so this is in first stage. First stage is going to be a little bit slower. Uh, there's not much on a telescopic. You won't be able to get started because of the efficiency. Notice it's pointed vertical, going vertical. There's no redirection of force. If you've got, and you'll notice it just hit the second stage there. Second stage is gonna speed up a little bit. Uh, one thing on a telescopic, you've got a pretty tight operating range of pressure. Depends on the, the entire system, but you might start at 2000 PSI to get it started. And then as it gets going, it'll drop back to 1600, 
Second stage will take it back to two and then 16. Now you just heard it hit third stage. It's gonna get quicker. So the difference, uh, a couple differences on telescopic now that we stopped here. It's very efficient, uh, much more so than say a dual piston or a scissor. They're both uh, horizontal, trying to go vertical, trying to redirect force. They waste a lot of energy. They're also gonna have a lot less leverage. Uh, if you're familiar with piston uh, hoist, they pretty much mount about dead center of the fender. Well, you can see there's a lot less box behind than there is forward. A piston hoist struggles because it doesn't have near the leverage. It has to have, uh, it has to be placed where it is because it just doesn't stroke near as far. Uh, a lot in the industry will use a three by 30 hoist, which extended is only gonna give 60 inches. Scissor, you're more like 80. Telescopic, we're 144 inches stroke and that's why it can be mounted all the way at the front, gets all that extra leverage. So unlike a, a piston hoist or a scissor, they're a one speed hoist. It's got to start at max pressure and then work back. Telly, as I showed you, you've got the opportunity to reset twice uh, throughout the hoist. Uh, just makes it for a tight operating range. You can run a much lower pressure on a telescopic because of how much more efficient it is. Certainly that's better for everything involved from your seals to your pump, et cetera, better for your battery life um, as well. Uh, telescopics too are gonna be gravity in the way down. So basically the weight of that box is gonna uh, let that uh, telescopic, you're only using a minute amount of uh, battery just enough to open the uh, coil. So a very efficient hoist, gets a good angle, tons of lift. There's not really anything that I've ever had a customer try to put in one that uh, even a front heavy load that it couldn't pick up that was a legal load or anywhere near a legal load. So again, 10 ply rubber standard. This is a 14 ply on this. 14 ply is gonna come a little uh, heavier side one and a little more tread. Uh, same wheel though would be standard on all of them. It's gonna be a black mod wheel. Uh, this is an easy lube, um, well, an easy lube hub with a uh, self-adjusting or what some would call forward adjusting brake assembly. Uh, forward adjusting brake, similar to your vehicles, it's gonna self-tension uh, throughout the life of the pad. Certainly good for both you and the axle supplier. For you, it's good because it's safer. You've always got brakes and for the axle supplier, uh, whether, you know, historically we had to have them adjusted. If it wasn't adjusted, you weren't using brake pads and that wasn't helping them sell more brakes. So uh, good for everybody involved, I suppose you would say. Uh, slipper spring suspension, pretty standard on 7K axles up. Uh, what is different, that where you see a blob of grease there has a wet bolt kit or a wet uh, grease zert. So basically you got some extra serviceability there. Don't hear your suspension. Um, fenders on these changed. Uh, they've got Lamar's logo embossed in them. A little bit heavier fender. They also change to the verticals, give it a nice look, give some extra reinforcement. Also built into those verticals are going to be your uh, hooks for your tarp. So you can tie a bungee onto them through the grommets. It's also got stake pockets going down the side. So if you want to build the side up higher than it is, standard here, it's going to be a four foot side, but you can go taller if you'd like. Also, you'll notice at the top, uh, hooks for your bungees. And then this was actually your door hold back. I'm sorry, that's where your, your when you barn door, you're going to hook your uh, rear gate when it opens up onto that. Uh, the top rail on this, the rigid rail as Lamar calls it, gonna be a lot different than most in the industry. Most are gonna come up over and then down a little bit. This actually wraps all the way back down to wider top, very heavy duty. They did this uh, on your rental type uh, trailers. They'll get pretty heavy on that top rail, banging the uh, skid steer buckets and similar around. Just give some extra reinforcement there. Uh, tarp kit is standard, it's a deluxe tarp spring-loaded, it's an aluminum rod. It's actually got a sail bar on it. If you're not familiar with the sail bar, it's got that guide on the end of it. That guide just helps it come back. That's gonna latch into here whenever you deploy it. Uh, there's actually a retainer uh, at the back on these high side 16s. Uh, Tally, you're gonna get that little cutout up front just like your uh, semi-rigs, uh, your dump trucks. Uh, D-rings in the corner, you got four rings. Those are a four inch ring, not a three inch. At the rear, they're reinforced at the bottom, but again, that is a four inch ring. Uh, on this high side, you notice there's an extra hinge on the rear door. 
and the door is going to be the same size as the sides so you got a four foot all the way around this is still a barn door or a spreader gate it does have under mount ramps and this particular unit is also equipped with rear jack stands so basically if you pull that pin drop the leg this comes down to the ground you've got rear jack stands that's not standard but it is on this one a couple other features for you ramps are standard equipment uh, at the end of them, you're going to see the hook. It's going to hook onto the back bar. One thing that's a little bit different, Lamar uses a nestled bed frame. This is kind of an ingenious way to drop your trailer height down without sacrificing anything. So if you look right down, that four-inch channel is going to come right inside that I-beam frame. And uh, basically, instead of sitting on top of the I-beam frame, it's going to sit inside. It saves you four inches of height without sacrificing any ground clearance. Another way you can get lower is to use drop axles. Downside is you're dropping out of the axle and coming down. So now your axles are gonna be four inch lower to the ground on that type setup. This uses straight axles, which are the preferred way, maximum ground clearance, but you're gaining four inches of decreased height down by nestling that bed frame. So again, smart way of getting the bed down. This has a 12 inch on center. If you look around the industry, most are gonna be 16. Some will even be more. A lot of times they won't advertise it, but some are 20 and I've even seen 24. The cross member also is structural channel. It's three inch. Uh, some in the industry, uh, I don't know a percentage, maybe 20, 30, 40% from what I've seen are using form steel, like a stake pocket, not structural. So be on the lookout for that as you're looking around at trailers. Telescopic's gonna, uh, basically flex the frame or uh, uh, different than a dual piston or a scissor. Notice there is no reinforcement in the center where you would typically have cross beams uh, on those. Your, your push points, your, your pressures are gonna be different on the telescopic. Notice it's gonna be boxed out up front. You got a crossbar here that's not traditionally on them. So again, totally different on your stress points on tele it's a lot less stressful uh, of a hoist because it's a lot more efficient also notice up front you've got your side step now lamar on this uh uses a eight inch beam on their smaller eight inch 13 foot pound then on the bigger heavier units the 8k axles the uh, triples this is going to be a 10 inch uh mainframe beam it's going around the trailer this is a seven by 16, 21,000 pounder. This is the biggest lengthwise they offer a low pro fendered unit in. You can also get tandem axle 16s with tandem 8Ks. We bring this in in single wheel, two sevens, 14 foot length and 16 foot length, tandem 8Ks and then the triple sevens in the 16 foot we offer this with the normal sides and the high sides you can actually also get a three foot side on this particular model we carry it in a bumper pull and in the gooseneck if you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers feel free to give us a ring 717-220-4220 or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com